let me mention a little bit about uh, exponents. Of course, in, on the exponents, uh, it's all about the rules and applying them uh, <coughs> accordingly. Yeah, if I have um, 6x squared to the third uh, divided by Five to the negative two x to the eighth, and I want to simplify such a thing. <clears throat> well, yeah, the exponent does uh, on the top there need to be put with the uh, six and the x squared, and of course, a power raised to a power. What do we do? Multiply. Okay. <clears throat> then, what's the deal on negative exponents? Negative exponents need to be changed to positive exponents, and we do that by flipping them, right, or moving them, moving them around. Yeah, that five to the negative two needs to come up and be in the top somewhere. Uh, now, of course, those those are just ones we'd evaluate. That'd be 216 times 25. Now, what's the rule on that? Same base, but they're divided. That's subtraction, isn't it? We subtract the exponents. And the larger one's in the denominator, so I just say, well, let's, let's cut to the chase there. X squared is going to be in the denominator. If I officially subtract it, it'd be X to the negative 2. And then I'd have to flip it, so I'm just saving myself a step there. Um, let's go ahead and multiply 216 times 25. Five thousand four hundred over x squared. Okay, so yeah, it's remembering when to multiply, when to subtract the exponents, when to add them so forth and so on. That's the name of the game on the exponents. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Put another one here. How about uh, negative 8 cubed uh, x to the seventh, y to the minus five over x to the negative three, y to the minus eleven. Well, with so many things running around there, I would suggest moving those uh, negative exponents around. The negative exponent ones, we move those to the other place, right? If it's a negative exponent on top, move them to the bottom. If it's a ex negative exponent on the bottom, move it to the top. Now, <clears throat> so that'll make it... Uh, now, the first one, I, I've got a negative 8 cubed. Does that move? That one wouldn't move because we're only talking negative exponents that move. So the negative 8 cubed stays there, x to the 7th, so I have x cubed, y to the 11th, and then on the bottom, just y to the 5th. Okay, now, talk about negative 8 cubed. The cube only goes with the 8. Actually, it wouldn't matter here, but uh, so it's 8 times 8 times 8, and then the negative of that, which is 512. Yeah, it would be a negative 512. Now the x's, we have the same base, but they're multiplied, so that is what? Let's add. And then we're back to the y's being divided, so that is subtract. 
yeah, so I wind up nothing on the bottom. Negative 512 x to the tenth y to the sixth. Okay, let me <clears throat> think of one here, another one. How about uh, how about this one? Negative three to the fourth minus two to the sixth plus negative five to the zero. <laughs> Just to put uh, several rules here all, all together at once. Yeah, <clears throat> the first two here, um, I am raising to the fourth power negative three, so that's negative three four times. And if I have negative three four times, that's gonna be a positive, yeah. Because those two make a positive, those two make a positive, it's 81, but it's a positive 81. Now, on the second one, I don't get a positive there, or I do have a minus two to the six because why, is, why isn't that one going to turn to a positive? It's not included. That's right. The negative is not included. That power only hooks up with what's right next to it because I don't have the parentheses. So it's just minus the two to the six power, which is 64. Then what about zero power? Anything to the zero power is one. Negative five to the zero is one. Uh, X to the zero is one. Um, five seventeenths uh, to the zero is one. Yeah, anything to the zero power is one. That's the rule there. So I've got 81 minus 64 plus one. That all be 16. Okay. So know the rules there about those. Um, <clears throat> so that's a little bit on the exponents.